Say hi to your flash mob. Excuse me? 22 so far. By the way, the captain's been taking a keen interest in this one. He's even asking me what's going on. Listen, then do us a favor. When we talk to the village people, can you check out the alibi of Professor Spinella last night? Some convention at the Hojo's in Eugene. Then get us the name of every beekeeper who was there. No problem. Have fun with your interrogations. We will. I didn't know anyone on that streetcar. Every one of them was a stranger. Then why were you there? I got the invite. Totally random tweet telling me a time and a place and what to do. I get on it. Am how? And dance the YMCA. We've been told. Yeah. And then immediately get off at Alder. I didn't see that girl. There were a lot of us on there. We were just dancing, having fun. How was I supposed to know someone was getting killed? Can I go now? Actually, no, Doug. I'd like to go over it again, if you don't mind. From the beginning? Well, yeah, unless you know what happens in the end. <sighs> well, like I said, I got the same invitation as everybody else did. I figured I'd go have some fun with some strangers. It just sounds like there's an echo in here, because I keep hearing the same thing over and over again. OK. Can I see the tweet? You know, text savvy guy like yourself. I'm sure you still have it on your phone, right? Um, I got some personal stuff on there. All right. Well, let's talk about the victim. So Serena Dunbrook got on the streetcar around the same time as you, right? She's a pretty girl. She stood right behind you. You know, did you smell her perfume? Did it turn you on to be rubbed up against her? No. Hey, come on, Doug. We have you on a video tape. I, I was on the other side. Really? Because in your previous statement, you said you didn't see her at all. So which one is it? Come on, let me see the phone, Doug. Unless you're hiding something. AG Waver turned up a dummy account open with a spam email. And all it takes is half a brain and a laptop to manipulate an IP address. Benefit of social media, anyone can arrange cover for a murder. You get something off this Doug Shallow guy? paper mill. This doesn't look like home. Know anything about Primrose Paper? Heard of it, that's all. Old family business, been here forever. Do you really think Doug Shello and John Coleman know each other? Let's hope let them go pays off.
Maybe they're hiding, waiting for us. I don't think bees hide. Oh, man, I got at least a couple dozen bee stings. <sighs> this is crazy. Someone gets killed with bee venom and we get attacked by a swarm? I don't think it's a coincidence. You know, maybe Wu was right about a giant killer bee. Come on. Let's get you some help. Ow! You're a bigger baby than he is. Two beers, one water. Bees usually sting when threatened or provoked. You kick a hive or something? No, they just came out of nowhere and headed straight for yours truly. Aw, maybe you're their flower. Excuse me? Bees are highly effective communicators. A scout will fly around until they find the perfect flower, then it goes back to the hive and signals the others to follow. <laughs> you learned all that in vet school? Nope. Animal planet. Will they say anything about training bees to attack people? That sounds more like a bad movie. Well, Shello and Coleman are still our best leads. I just put out an APP. What about our mystery woman? Well, two guys were reporting to her. So there's got to be a connection between the three of them, the mill, and Serena Dunbrook. Let's take a look at the case files Berman sent us. Uh-uh. My patient is not doing anything but resting and not scratching for the next eight hours. Dude, if you were a dog, I would have already tranquilized you. Now she's right. I got this. You go to sleep. Thanks, Doc. Bye. I know. You're sorry, but you have to work. I just thought I'd let you know what you'll be missing. I just have to do some research. It won't be long. Yeah, well, you've been turning this no sleep thing into an art form lately. Right. Beast Mark can be found under the tongue in both human form and morphed form. 